guys, my name is Isabella and I'm in charge of graphics for Bury the Hatchet. So today I'm going to show you how I like to edit my graphics using Adobe Photoshop. So first I like to open Photoshop. I import my media that I'm going to be using, in this case it's photos, and a piece of tape. I'm resizing everything. So see here you can see that the tape doesn't match correctly to the background. So I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation, I'm going to bring up the lightness and I'm going to play with the saturation just a little bit because I still want it to look old. Um, so I'm going to make it a bit more yellow. And now you can see that the tape is more distinguishable from the piece of paper, which is what we wanted. Um, so now we're going to resize the tape and if you hold Command T, you can transform the, um, the tape and you can move around the sizes and turn it around to whatever side you want. So then for text, I like to use the text tool and then if you just expand it, then you can make a box and the text will go within that box, it kind of creates the borders for you. Otherwise, if you keep writing, you'll go out of the board, let's call it the board of the text, it's just easier to control and the sizing is just better. Um, and then once I import the text, I like to resize it um, into the box and see how it fits better. Then I like to highlight my text and if you go to the character setting, you can actually just make it tilted yourself, which I think is easier. So then on here I'm going to be drawing little arrows and if I want the, to make the drawing, to make the arrows smoother and the drawing better and not so squibbly, um, you can go to the top of your settings and to smoothing and you just clicked on that and I put it at 90 because I want it to look smooth. <laughs> and then um, we go to the tool section and to shapes and I opened up an arrowhead. Um, so now I'm just resizing it, making it the color that I want. So now, um, if you can see the text is very crisp and I want it to look more authentic for it to look like an older piece of paper. So what I like to do now is I create a new layer, I go to sponges, I use that sponge right over there, um, I go to the color of the sponge and I change it to match the cut piece of paper. So basically what we're doing is that we're putting paint over the text so the text looks like it's dithering away and it makes it look older. Don't worry, it looks really strong at first. Um, we're then later going to go into the opacity and bring it down to 50 and as you can tell it looks more natural. Um, so then I like to do that with different tones of the piece of paper so it's not all just super bright, you can also get like the dark tones within it. And yeah, that's just a quick little explanation of one of the many graphics that we're using and how I edit it and I hope that helps you guys. Thank you! <laughs>